week I lost to Cecil Cerveza, but it wasn't because he was the better man. It was because of Blake Reed. Blake Reed, that's not all you're going to see of me tonight, but I got you at Ascension to Greatness. The clock's ticking. <laughs> Cecil Cerveza, Conrad, Frank Wyatt, and Jeff Harris accept the challenge. I don't know whose name is there. You wait. Who will accept? Accepting Parker Dirge's open challenge. Not terribly familiar with that music. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Sean Rife! The Rifeman himself! would be competing as a wrestler having had him officiate several of my battles he was always the best of officials he was always fair right down the middle certainly but, but, but that was like a one and a half count but it was on Harker Dirk now Sean Rife not long ago during your absence mind you not long ago he shed the stripes and put on the tights so to speak he said that after his match with Jimmy Carrot, after his match with Bo Sawyer, where he was kind of forced into these, with his safety in mind, he did not feel he needed to compete or continue as a referee here. He wanted to be in the ring. He got the fire. You know the fire. He got the fire. I noticed that a man that, that he's as large as he is, there would be a lot of fire. And he has quite the mass on him, and that should aid him. A man like that would strike very hard and be able to throw himself around to manipulate another man's body. But as I pointed out while you were in the ring with Parker Durge, you see, he's been doing this open challenge for a number of weeks. First up was Frank Wyatt, and Parker Durge bested that man. Then, you had Cecil Cerveza, Conrad, and Jeff Harris in consecutive weeks all try to battle Harker Dirge, all failing. But can Sean Rife, can, can he defeat the man and easily put himself on the map? This would definitely be a feather in the cap of Sean Rife. 
This would be a jump start of the career of, of such a, a young, promising talent. I mean, I've, I've been in the ring with Harker Dirge on numerous occasions, and still it is an intimidating an experience as any, especially here in the UWC. And I can count, I can probably count on one hand the amount of people in my entire career who have ever defeated Harker Dirge. So, I guarantee if Sean Rife can somehow get this victory, he will, it will catapult him to the top of the ranks here in the UWC. It certainly will. There are few men in this region let alone in wrestling in general, that are the caliber of Harker Dirge. Uh, an international superstar, as, as it were. Absolutely. But maybe maybe Rife has the right idea. He, he's working on the leg. You take the pins out. You know. You know you take the pins out and you weaken a man. If you look, I don't know how if the cameras caught that, but Sean Rife, he just gave us a glare. He's like, he's taken one, two. Two count on Harker, that's an achievement in and of itself, right there. He gave us a glare saying that he means business, he is serious. Rife definitely is not short for confidence at this point, but with uh, such size, stature, uh, that is the type of body type popular in Saudi Arabia at this point, I understand why a man would have such confidence. Sean Rife is rocking what is currently trending as the dad bod. And Sean Rife is a father. He is a father of a couple beautiful young children. So if he could go home and say that daddy was in the ring with Harker Dirge and won. Amazing, amazing moment right there. If, if I were his children, I would be proud of my father. Two. Sean Rife you know, also has a beautiful wife that he should be proud of and he should want to make proud by you, such an accomplishment. You as a warrior, that is a woman that wars would be fought over, wouldn't it? It certainly would, like Helen of Troy. Helen of Troy. Oh! Dirge that punch with the a chin. legal open-handed strike. You see, first he just shoved him. He just got him off balance. Oh, there's that boot! There's that boot! Knee drop, I, if you notice, there it goes, that's a trademark Harker Dirge. Harker, uh, he does not simply allow the momentum of the other man to take him down running into the boot. Dirge also drives through the man's face. In oh, DDT! DDT, I know that that has been a very effective maneuver.
That makes me the man. That makes him the man. He did defeat the number one right? contender, Joe O'Reilly. I beat Joe O'Reilly. I'm the man. I watched it. it I didn't even see you come back. You scared I'm me, Norman. Man. Who the, the man? I'm the man. The microphone again. Oh, you're listening. He's the man. I'll be back. Cecil looks like he's got some fighting he's words. Man. I'm the man. Well, guess what? Next week, you won't be. You're not going to be issuing any open challenge. You're not going to want to fight because the only fight you're going to have is against me. Because I've been in this company for four years. I've done oh. it all. The one thing I have not done in this company is beat you. Whoa. Cecil Strange is a former heavyweight champion, but he is and never. Guess what? He's never beaten Harker Durge. That's in a exactly match. what's going to happen this uh, next week, next Friday at Ascension of Greatness. I'm going to ascend when I beat the crap out of you. Whoa! Was... That's a tall tree to the climb, Cecil. The one thing Cecil. I haven't done is the one goal I am going to achieve at Ascension of Greatness, and that's knocking you down off your ladder. Uh oh. Funny you should say ladder because it seems like it wasn't all that long ago. I climbed the ladder high and took the title belt from around your waist. But that's all in the distant, distant past. Let's talk about right here and the right now. You came out and said you were the man. He did. Cecil's the man. Ascension to greatness. of social media. Connect with all of our fans through the official Facebook page, facebook.com slash UWC Georgetown. Watch all the past and current episodes of UWC Online on our official YouTube page. Get late breaking news and notes when you follow at UWC Georgetown on Twitter. And check out the photographs and still shots from our world-class photographer on our official Instagram page. UWC Online, a truly interactive experience. Hey everybody, I'm Rocket Grunt Josh, and welcome back to my Until Dawn Minecraft Story Mode Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Challenge. Live and learn. Live and learn, guys. It's Sanic. Sanic Bursley is straight up MLG Pro. No, he's not okay. He's pretty I'm going, I'm halved. Down, I'm you down. He's been halved pretty Shut bad. Up. So, with that, I will see everybody next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.
tonight and here we are on the last episode of UWC Online. And I, I feel like there's just so much more that needs to be done considering I'm holding the UWC Online Championship. There's always a sense of greatness. And I promise you, I will be there. And on that night, my presence will be felt. I promise you. Stay tuned. champion, Blake Reed. This is what Eric Lawyer, fellow comrade, would call a lot of beef in the ring. There are beef, there are steaks, there are pork, there are all kinds of meat in this ring right now. What is your favorite kind of meat? Lamb. 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 I really enjoy lamb, but in Owensboro, Kentucky, they barbecue sheep. I did not know that. It is the mutton barbecue capital of the world. All right. All right. This would be an interesting one. Who will be the strongest? Uh oh. You have to want to do it. This is two bulls colliding right here. You got. You got to think of something. Blake Reed is the current champion. The title is not on the line tonight. It is on the line in Ascension to Greatness against Joey O'Reilly. How different will he have to use his battle plan, his warrior's plan against Frank Wyatt as he will against Joey O'Reilly? This could prove to be a taxing event for Reed in that it is non-title. And he has a title match coming up very shortly. Such different body composures of the competitors Reed could use this, however, as a training exercise, seeing that he maintained his pride and is not defeated. Now you see, with this match with Frank Wyatt, not only was it announced as non-title, but Blake Reed specifically said it will not be for the title. Now, I, we said last week in the match with Sam Knight, he was the fightingest online champion in this company's history. Blake Reed may actually be kind of the opposite because he refuses to defend that title unless the opponent is worthy. He refuses to acknowledge these people are worthy and he has not defended that title since he was forced into a five-way scramble match over a month ago. That standpoint could be seen as sympathetic and, and, and giving because Blake Reed does not want to injure those who are not competing in his class. Now you see that they're back in that knuckle lock. That's that Greco-Roman knuckle lock. This is a classic docking. Oh! We're gonna see where both men are being tested right here. There's really no room to give such, such large gentlemen. You see, for our fans that have watched last week in UWC Online, you saw Blake Reed get involved in our main event as Joey O'Reilly took on Cecil Cerveza. And all due respect to the man, I don't see why Mike Underwood did not make the call. He may, he may not have seen that Blake Reed was in the ring or that he, that he attacked Joey, but he saw him get in the ring. So, I mean, I'm, it's a judgment call. But Blake Reed was the reason that Joey O'Reilly lost that match. And you heard Joey earlier with those earlier comments and he said that is not the only time you're going to see him tonight. So I don't know. I don't know. He's got to have something to say about this match here. O'Reilly is always full of surprises. I think this will be another stalemate situation. They're just slugging it out back to the lockup. All of these positions, the Greco-Roman lockup and the traditional lockup, may seem boring and slow to certain untrained eyes, but to the trained eye, as we are warriors, they know that a, a, a matter of half an inch of space could create a movement. Uh, 
is the fiercest of battle positions. They certainly are. You're, you are intimate and personal. It is the most hand-to-hand -hand of combat, literally. Action. I feel I've been intimate and personal being this close to you for two weeks straight, and I get the opportunity to do so in a sense of the greatness I am getting in your head, and I think I'm becoming a warrior by the transitive property and the osmosis of being so close to you. Yes! Action! Action! Cecil's gut is what you named action. I did. Blake Reed also has what you would say a muscle gut. Blake Reed has a fan base that you may be surprised. Uh, as a regional wrestler, he has been exposed internationally. Uh, to has a very big following in Islamic countries. He does! He does! So, Frank Wyatt has not even ventured that far. He's an international star in his own right. So competing all over the United States and parts of Mexico. But, Blake Reed has a fan base over in the Islamic countries, Saudi Arabia, and much of the like. Certainly! He has spanned continentally, whereas... Shades of the Great Big Van Vader. Uh oh, he's, he's not. Well, no, Blake's down to a knee. He's down to his knees. That's the first time we've seen either one of these men leave their feet. Now they're on the floor, and wow, oh, Frank White with those hammer clubs. The the size of the forearm. Frank Wyatt, you can't tell on the camera, but if you stand next to him, his forearm is larger than most men's cap. And that is why he likes to use the lariat, ah, the right there, oh, into the post. He likes to use the lariat to finish off his opponents. So that move by Blake Reed right there may have been his saving grace. He wrapped that, that right arm around the post, those large forearms and biceps, as you pointed out. That is definitely taking one of the main weapons away from Wyatt. Reed is not, not scared to take dirty tactics. Or he has a five count he's well aware, and he yes. will utilize it. See, often you see the wrestler go after the left arm of the of the competitor, but in this situation, it is he's going after the right arm because he knows that's Frank Wyatt's weapon. Often the left side is the weaker side, which makes it a little bit easier of a target. Today, he's attacking the right arm because that right arm and bicep is Frank Wyatt's favorite weapon. Very cerebral on Blake Reed's part. It seems as though he may have done his homework. Watch some footage from Mexico. Reed doesn't need to be spending time jockeying with the crowd. However, he is, uh, should be ending this as quickly as he possibly could. So he can take time to rest for for his match with O'Reilly. That match at a sense of greatness with O'Reilly is really going to test the big man's cardio. What do you say he has to do his battle tactic in that match? I think he needs to use his weight, which is something that has drawn his international attention. Uh, I know that I am biased towards large competitors, but Blake Reed definitely needs to ground O'Reilly. I, I firmly believe that. Coincidentally, it is the same technique. Oh, choke slam! That is a large man to choke slam. O'Reilly needs to be focusing on grounding Reed as well. Such a large man, you need to take the legs out and get him to the ground. Like King Hippo. Whoa. Like the hippo? King Hippo. King Hippo. Oh, punch up. That's some action. So. But you see, this match, this match tonight, these two men are pretty evenly matched. These are men are pretty evenly matched. But at a of greatness against O'Reilly, I believe it's going to be a war of attrition. The longer the match goes, I believe O'Reilly will have, he will have the advantage. Blake needs to finish him early. He certainly does. And he needs to finish him legally. Because if he gets disqualified, Joey O'Reilly will become the champion. Well, he 
He needs to finish him in a manner where the referee cannot see if he did it illegally, which are we have seen is a tactic. Are you condoning the illegal actions? Certainly not. I am accepting realism. You do it or not! I can't really see from our vantage point, but I think Blake's nose has been busted open. Oh my what? gosh! Still has fight left in him! If you saw, he put most of the pressure on his left arm and shoulder because his right arm has sustained that damage earlier in this match. Those posts have no give! touched on her, but Norman, this is going to be our final main event of UWC Online. Whoa! UWC Online Season 3 in 2015. And I am glad, my friend, that I'm able to share this with you, watching such warriors battle it out. I am honored to have been welcomed back to such a field of battle where such valiant warriors battle. Splash. Oh, I think I moved the ring. Yes, Reed's nose is definitely busted open. Oh, that can Roy. detriment not only to the pain, but it can obstruct the breathing. Yeah, if you've ever taken a shot to the nose, you know it, it waters your eyes. It makes it hard to see. It makes it hard to breathe. It makes it hard to do anything. If and a, a man can't see, he can't fight. He cannot fight. If a I, man can't breathe, he can't fight. I've watched the Daredevil series on Netflix, and I do know that if a man cannot see, he can fight, but it is very far and few between. I once had a cat named Daredevil. That is not the purpose right now. Oh, Blake Green, he's got the no, championship. Oh, God, that's... He's got the championship. It does not matter this week if he is disqualified. Well, he still needs to not, not use the championship. Jason, we he can't. may do that directly in front of the referee. He, he didn't. Mike Underwood just called the match. That will not work next week. Joey, Joey's in the ring. for John Stone, for Eric Loy, for all the boys in the back, everybody that has ever contributed to this product. Jason B, signing off. Thank you all for three seasons of UWC Online. Thank you.